Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Disha and I'm here to help you transform your house into a home. So few months ago when I posted a video on DIY macrame planters, I got so many requests to make some to make a video on some basic and advanced macrame knots. So let's do it today. On my Hindi channel, I'm going to post 10 basic macrame knots. And here on my English channel, I am sharing 10 advanced macrame knots. So let's start without further ado. Start by making square knots. So you can find a complete tutorial on uh, square knot on my Hindi channel. I have added the link in the description box below. So make at least four or five square knots. Here I am making four square knots. Now pick up the filler cords and pass them through the gap right above the first knot so that it forms a nice and round button. Now pick up the working cords and make one square knot right below the button. Square button knot or rose knot is ready. So pick up the right cord and loop it under itself like so and then place it over the left cord. Now pick up the end of the left cord and then carry it over then under and then again over under and then over this loop. So basically all you have to do is just over under over under from left to right anti-clockwise and then just tighten everything and here you have it. So this is a starter knot and for this you will need a hook or a ring. Take one string and pass it through the ring. Take the another one the second one and pass it through the ring so that both the cords cross each other. Now pick up the one string and place it over the next one like so. Now pick up the next one which is coming out from the ring and place it over these two cords. Now again pick up the string which is coming out from the ring and place it over these two strings. Now pick up the next one. Now place it over these two but it will go under the third one. Now pull all the free ends together and tighten the knot. This is how it will look. Now keep repeating the steps until it reaches the desired length. So this is how the crown knot is gonna look. So take a cord and uh, form an 8 figure. Make a clockwise smaller loop and anti-clockwise bigger loop. And then all you have to do is just pick up this longer string and pass it behind the top loop make an anti-clockwise loop which sits inside this previous bottom loop and keep repeating these steps until you no longer can fill the bottom loop at this stage pass the free end through this hole and the knot is ready First fold the cord in half and then form two loops like so. There would be total of three loops. Then pick up the free ends and fold them over the next loop. Now pick up the next loop and fold it over the next. Now pick up the next loop and fold it over the next. And pick up the last loop, fold it over the next but it will go under the first one. It will pass it through the first one. And now pull all the strings together and tighten the knot 
and now place it again on the floor and repeat all the steps pull all the strings and tighten the knot now all you have to do is just pull the corner string to make a loop you can make corner loops small or as big as side loops so here chinese good luck knot is ready for monkey fist knot take a long cord and fold its one end and make a knot this will act as a stopper knot try to make a small round knot and snip off the extra cord now hold it between your fingers like so and wrap the cord around your finger 3 times and then wrap it around horizontally again 3 times now take it off your fingers then pass it through the loop and and wrap around the horizontal section 3 times to finish the knot find out the starting point and then start pulling the cord work on each wrap in an order and keep tightening it until you reach the end and then the monkey fist is ready pick up the left strand and form an open loop now place the right strand over it and then carry the right strand behind the left loop then pass it over itself and through the left loop and now tighten the knot this way it makes a beautiful triangle knot turn the rope around itself so that it forms a loop and then pass the working end through this loop several times like 3 4 times and then just pull the cord and here's the barrel knot fold the cord in half and place it over the dowel like so that it forms a loop at the back and then pass the right working cord through the loop 3 4 times and do the same with left working cord pass it through the loop 3 4 times now hold both the working ends and tighten the knot take a cord and make a lax head knot but do not tighten it now take the second cord and pass it through the loop and under the filler cord now tighten it these are the filler cords and these are working cords so pick up the working cords and make a criss cross form a loop now pick up filler cord pass it over the criss cross and then pass it through the right side of the loop now pick up the left filler cord pass it over the criss cross and then pass it through the loop now pull the working cords and tighten the filler cords now repeat all these steps until it reaches the desired length
so i hope this video was useful and you will be making a lot of macrame planters now that's all for today and i'll see you soon in my next video till then watch either this video or this bye bye wish you all love luck and sunshine